Hey Access members, this is Anthony Tran from marketingaccesspass.com and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do some market research using Google Trends. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to go to google.com slash trends and when you get there, you're going to see this front page. So what it usually immediately shows you is some particular hot searches for that particular day that you're using this software. So and this day, I'm actually recording it as on Monday, December 2nd, 2013. So some of these top um, searches for today are related to the Seahawks and Tom Daly. But we're going to go ahead and uh, dig a little deeper and figure out some information about your particular market. So in order to do that, you're going to go type into the search box uh, whatever your, re your related niche is. So in this case, for me, I'm going to be searching a marketing consultant. And basically this gives you a graph to show you uh, some search related uh, averages of their particular niche. So what this is saying is in 2004, um, there looks like there was a spike in research of, mar of people searching online about marketing consultant. And since then, I guess it's slowly trending down, but nothing that's significant. Now, like I mentioned before, you always want to search more than once because maybe people are not typing in this particular term. So I'm going to go ahead and type in marketing consulting and see what happens. So in the red indicates marketing consulting and the blue is marketing consultant. So if I had originally searched for marketing consulting and not searched for marketing consultant, I may have made the mistake of assuming that the marketing consulting industry is uh, trending down. Um, and yes, it is trending down with searches, but that may not give me the exact information that I'm looking for. So don't always assume on your first search that the information you have. I would always try to um, add a few searches just to kind of get a bigger, broader idea and, and try using different phrases because uh, you have to think about human behavior and people might be searching using different terminologies. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check out what this another information have, which is called regional interest. And this information will can tell you um, where people are searching in location wise. So I currently live in the United States and this is very surprising to me because I would have never thought that people were searching uh, in South Africa about the position of marketing consultant and also India and Australia. So if I had a worldwide audience, this may change the way I talk or speak to my target audience because they're not all just in the United States. They're in Australia, India, South Africa, Netherlands, um, and that may change the way I do my marketing strategy. So this is very valuable information as you can see. If you scroll down, you can see related searches and Google does a really great job of giving you some suggestions as far as other particular searches related to what your particular uh, industry is. So. If you see right here, business consultant, uh, marketing consultant jobs, these are all very relatable searches um, and it's stuff that I never considered. So it, it is something that now I may consider. It's like, wow, there are people that are looking for marketing consultant jobs, um, business consultants. So I could cater my uh, website or audience to answer these particular questions. So maybe I could write blog posts about how to land the top five tips, how to land your first marketing consultant job or something like that nature. If you click on rising, they would also give you some other ideas as far as other terminologies that are very hot topics. So as you can see right here, people are searching for marketing consultant salary and marketing consultant jobs. So these are very good rising trends. Um, and that's something that you may consider as part of your uh, topic or niche that you're you know, catering to. Let's go ahead and sc uh, scroll to the top. And on the left-hand side, there's some other um, basically buttons that you can use to do some more research. So I'm going to click on locations and see what happens. So same thing with locations, you're going to go ahead and click add a term and you're going to type in what your industry is. So I'm going to stick with this theme of marketing consultant. And in this particular case, I wanted to research what people are looking for in the United States. Maybe I'm offering a, a job or service that's only a local based um, regional uh, 
regional business. So let's go and check out uh, what happens in the United States. Click on that. And I live in California, so I want to see if I can promote my business to the local community. So I'm going to click on California. So this is very valuable information because it really shows me, hey, you know what? There's um, uh, maybe there's some other locations within California. So I'm going to click city. Ah, so this is very interesting because originally I assumed that uh, most business or jobs in marketing consultant was in the LA area. But in this particular case, it actually shows me that there's a lot of people in the San Diego and San Francisco community that are also searching for marketing consultant. This does a couple things for me. It may have helped me reevaluate my business and determine if I'm currently located in the right area where my target audience is. Let's say I was um, lived in Los Angeles and I said, you know what, I'm not getting enough business. I may want to relocate my business to San Diego, San Francisco, because according to this information with Google, there's a lot of people that are searching for that particular niche in that industry. So as you can see, you can kind of play around with this and figure out if your local business is something that's currently trending and is currently in the right location for your uh, niche or topic. So I hope this information helps you guys out. Obviously play around with it, do some searches, and that's how it's related to you. And you can uncover some remarkable facts. So I hope you guys enjoy this training. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.